Happy birthday. This is your final birthday present. It's in there. What is it? Wow. Is that a toe? It's a little doll. Bob. Oh. Oh. Did you give her kisses? Can you say hello? No. <laughs> what? Does she look like you? She's trying to straighten her. Stand up. <gasps> Look, he stands up. Can you give her a hug? Hug. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it for mom? <laughs> we knew Ola would love it just because she's finally at the age now where she kind of like understands things. So like with her stuffed animals, she's like giving them little hugs and so she's being really cute and like actually playing with them instead of like kind of just flopping them around. So um, mostly she just has stuffed animals. So I was like, we should get her a little doll for her second birthday. She'll love it. It'll be kind of that, um, something that we can remember that big gift for her. And so we recorded it just because we knew her reaction would be adorable. We weren't sure what she would do, but she's just so cute. So we're always taping her and kind of trying to document her little life. Right when she opened it, her little eyes got big. She could tell it was something special. And then, um, like as it unfolded, it just got cuter and cuter. And so we were just dying over her reaction. It was so sweet. And then my favorite is when she patted the little back um, because that is something we do. And I just hadn't really noticed it until I saw her doing it. And sometimes she'll do it to us too. Like when we pick her up, she'll pat her little backs. So it was just a cute little moment for all of us. Something that's really important to me since um, becoming Olive's mom is just sharing the message that all lives are important. Um, children with Down syndrome are perfect. We've had a lot of people just kind of initially when we found out before we had her um, kind of tell us things like, oh, we're sorry. And like, well, that must be hard. And for us, we're like, it's not like she is literally perfect to us. And she is made just the way she was supposed to be and we don't see it as a flaw and we honestly don't see her down syndrome we don't say olive with down syndrome we just see olive and she's just who she is and we feel like down syndrome is just a tiny part of her and so it's something in our house that we really don't talk about we just kind of um love her and adore her and she has extra therapies and appointments but it's not um a huge topic and so when people bring it up i'm always like oh okay yeah and i kind of talk to people about it um but I think the most important thing is any individual with Down syndrome, um, they are important, they matter, and that they can thrive given the support and the tools in their lives to do so. So we just, it's something we feel strongly about and we just really want to share that message with people and um, let them know that their lives are important, that they matter, and that we should fight, fight for them and to make sure that they feel included and loved and protected.